Now y'all know there's a difference between tying for fun and tying for fishing. And I do a little bit of both, but this one today is tying for fishing. Hello everybody, welcome to Savage Flies. I'm Matt, thanks for stopping by the channel. So it's late May right now, and we all know here in the mid-Atlantic East Coast, June, July, and August is prime terrestrial season. Now there's no more fun fishing than watching a big slab of a brown trout take your foam grasshopper. But sometimes it's really the ants that are gonna save the day. So it's late May right now. I was out on the gunpowder yesterday and I saw all kinds of big black ants all over the trails. Now, I was in a one fly contest, so I wasn't really bold enough to, to pick an ant for my one fly. But if I had, I, I might have done pretty well with it. So keep in mind, there's really two types of ants people will fish during terrestrial season. You can have a sunken ant, and what I'll tie for my wet fly ants is really just a, a thread body with some black hackle, and it'll float a little bit, but after a little bit of fishing, it starts sinking down a couple of inches, and that's pretty much what you want for a wet fly ant, because that's what a real ant will do when it falls in the water. After just a, you know, a few feet, that thing's probably going to sink a little bit. But the other ant you want is a true dry fly floater, and this one I'll tie with a foam body. So I was looking around, seeing if there were any really simple patterns out there, and sure enough, Morgan Lyle had a foam body ant in here. And looking at this, I realized this is probably about the easiest, you know, foam body dry fly ant out there. I mean, seriously, in about an hour of tying, you could probably tie enough ants to last your full season. So this one today, two materials, a little bit of black foam and then a black hackle for some legs and um, an indicator if you want it, but that's optional. But I'm gonna use an indicator because, well, I'm getting old and without one, I can't see a black ant more than 20 feet out there. But it's a pretty cool pattern, super simple. Think you're gonna like it, let's give it a shot. So there it is in the vise, probably one of the simplest ant patterns you could tie. So I'm tying this on a size 12. You could go up as big as a 10, but I think more common sizes for this guy are 12 and 14. It's a standard length dry fly hook. And I'm gonna put down a base. I'm using 70 denier thread. Now, a lot of times with foam, I will step it up and use a little bit thicker of a thread, but this is a pretty small fly, so I think we're gonna get away with using this lighter, thinner thread. So just lay a base down to about the start of the bend. Now, three millimeter foam cut. I don't know what, maybe three millimeters wide as well. And I'm gonna cut a piece a good bit longer than the fly because we're gonna trim it. Uh, let's see, just a little bit longer than the, the tail and the eye. So layer thread right in the middle where we're gonna create the, the segment. So just catch this in right on top. I'm gonna use a pinch wrap too fairly tight right there, and, and this will spin around on you, certainly, but I will put just a couple of wraps up under it, back up over it, and then maybe up front too. Just usually helps it from spinning. But we're gonna want a little bit of a, uh, not a segmentation in the front, but just a little bit of a flat spot because we're gonna put a hackled legs right there. So go ahead and you know make it a little bit wider right here if you can. And if you don't, it's probably gonna be just fine. So go ahead and do that little business right there. Okay, so that's our, our body. And don't worry about it, it's big chunky and square. We'll fix that in just a minute. So the next component, and really the only two components you need for this is you know the foam and then some black dry fly hackle for the legs. So I'm gonna catch this in here, good two or three wraps. And this certainly doesn't have to be perfect. These legs are not for flotation, it is a dry fly. The foam is what's gonna float it. And these will just sit down in the, the surface film um, and imitate legs. So three or four, five wraps, whatever you think looks good. Let's see, that's three. I think four is going to be fine right here. Let's go ahead and catch this off. And snip this long piece of this tail right there. Okay, so that, you could whip finish this and fish this all day long. No trimming whatsoever, a one minute fly. But 
I mean, it doesn't take that much more to clean this up a little bit. So what I will do, um, and if you're like me, this thing's hard to see. I mean, it's going to look kind of like an ant as is. But if you're getting older, it's a little bit harder to see. I'm just going to tie in another piece of foam. This is a thinner piece. If you don't have a bright foam, a yellow, orange, white, whatever, you could use any kind of yarn or poly, whatever. So I'm going to catch that in. That's just a cider. And then take my thread back up to the eye and I'm going to whip finish right here. So four or five turns up under that front piece of foam. Now let's trim off this piece and make it as long as you need. I won't do it right there. Um, you'd be surprised, that's a pretty small piece of yellow foam, but you'll really be able to see it from a long way off. Uh, and we're not fishing ants at 50 feet cast anyway, you're probably 25 or 30 feet. So, you know, Morgan Lyle had it in his book just like this, and that was it, done. I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, cut a, a couple of uh, angles, just get rid of these sharp points on the, the tip. So kind of give the tail a l and the head just a little bit more of a rounded look. I would say this is not even necessary, but it doesn't take too much extra time to, you know, to make it a little bit more natural looking. But that's it. A, a foam ant. Um, yeah, very simple to tie and a, a great pattern to have anytime during terrestrial season. So that's it, my friends. I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.